Weather now with Jenny Woodward. And Jenny, some severe storms this afternoon. Yes, Jess, the weather's really been building in the west. Hello, everyone. We've got a severe storm warning, current for damaging winds and large hail from about Bullia to Windora. But certainly the wildflowers are in bloom in the west and Helen took this sunny photo of the billy buttons at Ardell Station near Windora this afternoon. While also Harry saw a big downpour as he made his way from Bullia to Birdsville. While at Mariba, Christine had the cows posing in front of a rainbow. Well, as the moisture has increased across the state, so have the temperatures. Figures range from 8 at Thangool and Warwick to a top of 36 at Normanton. We've had some showers that rolled through Brisbane this morning, mainly north of the river. Anogra Dam had 14 millimetres, but most of the falls were around 5. Then it was a warm day with tops of 22 to 25 degrees. On the satellite, the trough has triggered scattered showers and storms inland last night as well. South Galway, which is southwest of Windora, had 44 millimetres, and we saw 26 millimetres at Windburn Creek, which is east of Charleville. Further big totals on the tropical coast too 153 at Beds and 137 at Topaz. Tomorrow, Sydney's going to be a warm 26 degrees ahead of the trough line, but it's going to be a showery 14 in Melbourne and Adelaide. Let's check the chart and plenty more wet weather on the way with the rain, showers and storms moving east of the trough line. It's going to head off the southeast coast late Wednesday, while the pattern will be repeated later in the week when another trough line comes into the southwest corner. Overall, the next eight days will be very wet. Moderate falls likely in the southern half. The highest totals however up in the north. Tomorrow we've got a strong wind warning persisting north of Cape Tribulation. Showers and storms are expected across all the northern districts but the rainfall should ease back on the tropical coast. Showers and storms moving through the interior as well. Potential for severe storms again tomorrow afternoon. 25 for Windora, 22 in Monto. Early fog areas about the southeast and then cloudy with a high chance of showers or patchy light rain. Toowoomba's heading for 17. Brisbane will have early fog to the west. Showers or patchy light rain more likely later in the day. 22 the top in the city. On the bay, variable winds below 10 knots, seas under a metre and it's a wet outlook for the city. But the higher totals will be in the second wave of showers and rain and the odd storm. Jess, we might see totals of 15 to 20 millimetres Friday, Saturday. Wet start to spring. Thank you, Jenny. That's ABC News to the moment. Good night.